Well, Siavola Education is helping high school pupils get through the stressful exam season with ease. The company launched their hashtag One Million Maths campaign last month. Now it aims to raise a million rand to support and encourage pupils to be better prepared for their final exams. Well, for the month of October, pupils can sign up on siavola.com. They'll get to practice for exams by submitting and completing math sums. Let's get some clarity on this. Let's get some more on this. We're joined now from our Cape Town studio by Mark Horner. He's founder and CEO of Siavola Education. Mark, good morning, and thanks for coming in for us this morning. Um, tell us about this uh, hashtag one million maths campaign. Just tell us more about what you're actually aiming to do here. Well, firstly, good morning and thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so the One Million Maths campaign is really about um, the fact that exams are coming up. There's uh, still a fair amount of time, even now, still a few weeks before exams. And what we want to do is actually encourage learners and give them the opportunity to prepare and master content in preparation for the exams. Uh, it's, ex it's stressful. Um, making a campaign out of One Million Maths allows us to make sure that learners feel supported, they're not alone, um, we can make it more fun, we've got a lot of activities on the, on the website and on the Facebook group about it, um, so they, there's some solidarity among students, but then also to encourage um, other members of the public to, to show some solidarity with students. A lot of students get very stressed about exams, um, some of the exams, you know, they can be high stakes, they are very important depending on what grade learners are in, so, you know, we want to help them um, prepare for exams. We want to make sure that uh, everyone, the public in general, are actually trying to support them, create awareness around supporting them, showing them some solidarity. And then the, the one part about it is that uh, this year we, we're using it to raise some money as well um, to make sure that learners from uh, disadvantaged areas can have access to, to services like ours next year. Well, that's wonderful. I mean, you're doing so many things just with one campaign. Now, Mark, anybody who watches this program and anybody who knows me <coughs> knows that maths is my absolute worst nightmare. It has always been. So how does this actually work for somebody who maybe <laughs> needs help? Say, say division was, was a problem for me, a long division or whatever it was was a problem for me. When I get on to uh, uh, are there? can I choose what type of sum I want to do or what it is I need help with or do you just yeah. do whatever's there for the day or for that time? How does it actually work? So the, all, uh, all textbooks in, for learners in government schools have the same uh, structure and table of contents so aligned with our CAPS curriculum. So to kind of ease the, the transition and make sure that we're properly aligned with what's happening in schools, uh, the table of contents that a learner would see when they log into the system looks exactly the same as the CAPS curriculum. In fact, we've written free textbooks which are also available on the website. And so a learner will can just pick the topic that's sort of the chapter from the grade that's of interest um, and the section that they'd like to practice and then the system will give them a question and the, the important thing is the we're an education technology company so the questions are all generated by software they get marked immediately and the learner gets an explanatory solution and so the the ideal way to use it is to pick the topic that you're practicing or you want to revise um, do the questions, work them out on paper, and then compare your answer to ours. Mm. Um, figure out if you, even if you went, got it right or got it wrong, doing that comparison is a, is a real learning opportunity. And the system learns about you. So if you're really struggling, it'll scale you back to uh, basic questions on single component skills so that you can build up those skills, you can just isolate them, understand them, and then you'll progress from the basic component skills to practicing problems where they're integrated together to applying them to different contexts. So there's this depending on your level and how fast you progress, the system will adjust, but everybody will go through that sequence. Fantastic. Now, this is something I could have used about 30 years ago, Mark. Now, I see you also line up daily prizes. How does that work? How do you decide on a, on a winner or who gets a prize? I mean, that's a certainly a, a very good incentive, but how does it work? Yeah, so uh, to, to participate in the prizes, you have to opt in and then join the Facebook group. Um, and then what happens is that a certain number of ex there's a minimum number of exercises per day and then over and above that threshold um, a certain number of exercises gets you a ticket into a lottery so it's not just that the the students that do the most exercise who've got or are top of the leaderboard will win the prizes um, so it's a lottery based system try to make sure that it, everyone can benefit the more exercises you do the greater the chance of winning um, but it's just to make it more fun get some activity going on the group mm. 
um, it's not just about individuals sitting in isolation practicing maths problem after maths problem. Uh, and I see, as uh, now you say as part of your fundraising uh, bit, you're actually trying to get to a million sums that are done. This was for the month of October. Uh, we are, <coughs> what, is it the 20th, I think it is today? How are you doing with that? Or is it the 19th? I'm not sure. Well, what date are we on? But how, how so far are you with, with the numbers? The yeah, so when I came in this morning, we just got to 989,655. So, you know, it might be that actually during this broadcast, depending on how many learners are on the system right now, we may actually cross the 1 million ah, mark okay. uh, to, today during the show. Okay, I'm well, not sure let right us know now. if you have, and it is the 19th. I did tell you that my match was bad, didn't I, Mark? Well, thanks very much for that. Good luck with that, and certainly <laughs> a very helpful tool. Mark Horner, founder and CEO of Siavola Education in our Cape Town studio. Thanks for your time this morning.